It's definitely concerning. You don't know what, what will entail. You don't know how it's different from the former variants. Omicron in Charlotte, the newest COVID variant just detected in the Queen City. Yeah, Omicron is also the first case found in the state of North Carolina. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. Well, that case detected in a UNC Charlotte student. And we have team coverage tonight on the situation right now, starting with Fox 46's Will Lewis, who's live at the university. Yeah, and Will, should people be worried here? Officials say proper procedures are being followed on campus and should prevent any future spread. But still, students must be shocked tonight. Yeah, you know, Brian and Alicia, they are shocked. But, you know, around about 2.01 this afternoon, they received an email notification that another student here on the UNC Charlotte campus had been diagnosed with the COVID Omicron variant. Now, they want increased precautions as long as it doesn't mean another shutdown of campus. UNC Charlotte students going about their day and then around two this afternoon, an email regarding a student testing positive for the Omicron variant. It's definitely concerning. You don't know what, what will entail. You don't know how it's different from the former variants. Mecklenburg County updated the public about the case. The student lives on campus at UNC Charlotte and traveled out of state over the Thanksgiving break and contracted COVID. This particular student was symptomatic during that time, was isolated following their positive PCR test and has since um, recovered from from COVID and is no longer in, in isolation. The UNC Charlotte campus sequencing lab discovered the case and it was identified as the Omicron variant on Friday morning. Students say the amount of testing on campus is what helps them to feel safe. I'm not too worried because I think the school is taking the correct precautions and I feel like with you know daily health screenings and the vaccination rates, that uh, we're in a good standing. The county says the safety measures put in place worked because the student was identified, isolated, and exposure to others was minimal. The student was fully vaccinated, and it's just another reminder that the virus is not gone. We anticipate um, potentially seeing some increases over this period of time, and uh, that just reemphasizes the need, as, as Dr. Washington mentioned, for people to get vaccinated, to get boosted, and to wear their masks indoors, and to protect themselves and to protect others. It's a very real concern. It's just a matter of seeing how it all plays out because there are so many unknowns. And you heard those Mecklenburg County health officials talking, and Gibby Harris said she wouldn't be surprised if there are more Omicron variant cases here in the state. They just haven't been discovered yet. We're live at UNC Charlotte. Will Lewis, Fox 46. All right, Will, thank you so much for that update. And